Welcome again to ALS Teacher TV. This time another SUPD exercise. A quick one. Let's do a seat for this gentleman. And I start with the box. It doesn't look like a box, so I go to box mode. Then there is a box, of course. Squeeze it. Tiny. Make it longer. And twist a little bit. And then let's go upwards so i need the part that's at the bottom here so I, so i go around the corner this one rotate move a little bit and then next or hit spacebar go around the corner move a bit hit spacebar and so on now i got the part for the backrest so i go up there and hit spacebar again. And a connection up to where the headrest should start. So short pieces again, and then a long one. And that's it. Pick the object, switch on the CVs. So now we can see the edges and vertices. As you may see, we need to subdivide the headrest, backrest, and also the cushion at the bottom. And so I go there and put in some additional by intersecting edge loops. So I go there, oops, first one, next one. Let's say two of them here, and also in the back. One in the middle, of course, maybe not, but here, here. And there, a bit upward, all right. And for the address, we don't need that much. So let's say two of them. It's fine, I pick the object and make symmetry modeling active. From now on, everything what I do is to the left and to the right. So that's an advantage for creating the cushions, of course. I go there, pick the faces and move the piece out and you can see it goes to both directions I go a bit upward next and upward again next so that's this one pick nothing and go to the backrest same procedure going out a bit forward in this case and leave out moving again and a bit forward so let's say that's this one should go upward also because but we can later change all these settings the headrest a bit thicker here oops i got to the wrong direction so i go back So now it's correct, going there, and maybe like that, and there. We don't care about the shape of the contour of the outer contour. That will be done later, of course. So now that's fine. And that's the frame of it. So if I switch to smooth mode, I got a frame done already with this. So let's shape the seat frame now. And take some of the CVs. Just move them where you want to have them. Like that, maybe. Just go directly to the left and shift selection. Right mouse button to go up. Shift selection again and bit up. That's okay, shift selection for the whole thing here, which should be like that maybe. And shift selection here. Address closer to the head already, and with this one. All right, so let's say that's it. And here a bit. Now let's create the cushions 
and for that I switch off the mannequin to reference mode that means transparency but it's still visible somehow and I go to box mode and select all the faces on top and then do an extrude and with this extrude I go three steps I, the first step is a small one hit spacebar another small piece spacebar again and then a big one for the cushion and finished now the trick is to pick the edge loop in the middle where we have these narrow ones do a center pivot and scale it that means that we narrowing here and if we crease it then we get a sharp edge even and in smooth mode it looks like the frame is at the bottom and a cushion on top that's the effect I want to have and let's quickly do the same thing for the backrest and the headrest this mode and I do it a bit with accelerated speed Now that's done and our dummy sits pretty nice here. So we can still do some adjustments of course by just picking the CVs and moving them. And I'm proportionally in this case. So that's it. And the final step is just cushion should be a separate piece. So I switch over the mannequin of course. Then I go closer to the first cushion, select the face in the middle, and then there is another pick option which is grow. So I grow this until I have them all. And then I say sub D extract. So after extracting it, I can pick this separately and put another color on it. Can do the same thing now for each other cushion. So let's do it quickly again. And finally for the last one up there picking the face and increasing by growing selection and then or even shrinking if you hit too much then you can go back with shrinking and then you go to sub D extract and change another color white now we have these separated concludes the exercise and hope you liked it it was a quick one as I said and stay tuned for the next exercises on Alice Teacher TV thanks a lot